I recognize this brand somewhere? How we look? How we look? Is it too low? My no. head cut off? So great. So great. Even if your head was cut off, it would probably be better. What? Stoke! Welcome to the Orange Cactus Coffee Show, Cold Brew Cold War. We've got Stoke. So now some of you may recognize this brand as I did from those little tiny caffeine or espresso shots that sit in uh, the gas station. There's a little coffee shop that you can have that comes along with it. It's like a little espresso syrup type thing where you could add a little more caffeine, a little more espresso to your regular gas station coffee. So I'm in one of the gas stations today. You know, I was like, I want to see what's out there for the people. I want to be able to report back to them. What should you get while you're out? And I saw Stoke and they saw, they had a mocha, they had a vanilla and they had a uh, black sweetened coffee. And so right away, this mocha one here, it's got floaties. It's got some. It's got some floaties. Some borderline you see, chunks. You're supposed to shake it. Let me see what it says. Shake. It says it's not too sweet, which was appealing. Shake well and enjoy cold. But it's got floaties in it, so we've been shaking <laughs> it. What I do like, real quick, about the, the packaging, I think it's cool. 10 hours. There was another coffee we just tried. Steep 18. It's 18 hours. Is 18 hours better than 10 hours? Is 24 hours better than 18 hours? Is 36 better than 24? Yes. Where's the standard? <laughs> Where's the standard? I don't know. Caphobia, fear of risking one's morning ritual on an unknown coffee shop. Now it does say to do the twist here, but you, can, you, can you twist it, just straight twist it off? Oh, I guess you can, look at that. But now I gotta, look, I, gotta I can't get it off. I do have to go in and, Registration free packaging. The the it's kicking my butt here. Okay, my do that one. Let's get the vanilla going first because we it taste does, this one. It does not have floaties. There we go. 145 milligrams of caffeine per. I guess I we didn't I didn't have to pour all of it out. Man, you're gonna kill us. Drinking a little too much caffeine today. A little too much? <laughs> Big ups, they're from Broomfield, Colorado. Low. Temperature low. Nice. Stoke. Stoke. This is the vanilla. I'm getting caramel. I'm getting the vanilla. I'm getting the vanilla. But I almost thought it felt like it was almost like a chocolate. Yeah. Maybe like a white mocha. Yeah. Maybe I want to compare the, wanna... the mocha at the same time. I think it's a good idea. And we messed it up every time. <laughs> Here's the vanilla though. 30 to 45 seconds worth of pre-planning. No, I call that um, the impulse shot. Yeah. Impulse buy. Okay. I impulse bought these things for you guys. Oh. <laughs> Just Spooched all over everywhere. <laughs> I don't see any floaties. I shook it hard. I still see floaties. Now, I'm sorry. The <laughs> floaties coming to the top. That's a Look party foul. Do you want to drink that right now? I mean, you're going to. I gave it a, a pretty vigorous shake. I shook it as well. What is that? Right. You want to drink the floaties? Do you want to? Because I don't want to, but I'm going to for my people. You know, to be honest about it, I'm not pretty stoked, but... Yeah, a little more chocolate going on there. To aspirate our palate. You're the only one drinking like any of it, Mike. Oh. There you go. Taste those floaties. I don't really taste the floaties. I mean, visually I it's unappealing, but... Well, I don't even feel not, the texture of them. Yeah, I'm not chewing them or anything. Well, that's good. Going back to the vanilla. Yeah. Are you getting any coffee? Not getting any coffee. <laughs> it's very comparable to the Starbucks Frappuccino bottles that you get out there, just less sweet. Less so if sweet. you're not really into coffee flavor, but you kind of want like that. 145 milligrams of caffeine of that the caffeine bottle delivers. Without soda, then I think maybe that's that's good to go. Like if we're coming out with something brave and bold, first time I, I, I see it, stoked. I'm not getting like a strong specialty coffee. Mike just touched my knee. Flavor going. No you know what I mean? Crescendo of a coffee. flavor just, you know, exploding in your mouth. It's, it's not bad. Point. It's not bad. I mean, it's 130 calories too per bottle. So you're just getting this sweet beverage that for me, honestly, I need something to drink after. Some water? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm still, it's not, it's not thirst quenching. The only thing is it's delivering caffeine with a level of sweetness and palatability, and, and I think that's what you're getting. You know, I'm wondering. What are you wondering? Is it what just you... called cold brew? What's going on? I'm sure they do. I'm gonna go to Broomfield and see what's cracking. Well, 
It's a good question, right? Because one thing we've discovered in our journey down cold brew, there, there's pros and cons, right? And one of the cons of cold brew is it takes an enormous amount to get the ratio right. Right. If you want a flavorful cold brew, you're looking at four to one. Four grams, right, of uh, water to one gram of ground coffee. And so that's kind of a high ratio. So you need a lot of ground coffee if you want a flavorful yeah. brew. And I'm wondering if it's cheaper and easier not to go quite so high mm -hmm. and you don't get quite that strong of a brew. We're, we're not done with Stoke. We've got more Stoke product. We're not done. We're not stoked, but we're not done. And I don't want to badmouth them, but I got to keep it real for you. That if you're in the grocery store, you're in the gas station, and you're looking at this, and you're thinking, what's going to give me a good solid coffee flavor? For what we look for in a cold brew, I, I can't give it the OCC approval. No. It's just not there for us. So we'll continue our hunt, and we'll bring you some other brews from uh, you know, the gas station. And beyond. And to the gas and station. And beyond! Because that's where you can get <laughs> your specialty coffee. <laughs> We rollin', they see me rollin', they hatin', patrolling, they try to catch me ridin' caffeinated. Try to catch me ridin' caffeinated. Yeah.